Hey everybody, I'm going to go ahead and make this comparison video, even though uh, I'm doing it live, and I may regret doing it live and delete it here in five minutes. You can see my kids running around outside. Since it's right before Thanksgiving, they seem to have a lighter virtual school load, so I actually have a little bit of time where I'm not having to school them, so I wanted to try to do this, and hopefully they won't interrupt me a thousand times. So the wheels you see here, like I said, I've been wanting to do a big side-by-side -side comparison, is my new Echo, so that you can see the Echo, and it does have the Lazy Kate on the back, um, mid two ply here. This is the Bullfrog um, here, next to it. The King Bee and the Pollywog. So no particular order. Like I said, I wanted to do just kind of a real quick, and I will do a more in-depth officially edited uh, treadle video because the treadles are all slightly different and so that may influence which one you liked uh, one way or the other. I like all of the treadles. But um, these two are pro the bullfrog and the echo. Let me move it closer. Like I said, I'm sorry for any Blair Witch Project style camera angles here. But these were probably the two I feel like people most wanted to see so let me knock these two out. So the Bullfrog comes standard with uh, three 16 ounce bobbins. So you can see they have the same bobbin size on here. Even though you can, with the uh, Bullfrog, opt to get it with one 16 and two 8. You can see the flyer head design is different. So in the Bullfrog, you can do 8 ounce bobbins on here or 16 ounce. On the Echo, you change out the whole flyer head. So you can't put an 8-ounce bobbin on this head, but you could put an 8-ounce bobbin on this head. So, uh, like I said, you can see how it's a different head design, and I'm not the one that designs them, so I don't have anything smart to say about that, but I do know as a dealer that I should order the Bullfrog with either three 16-ounce bobbins or one 16-ounce and two 8-ounce, um, and they all will snap on the same head. The Echo is one of our modular wheels, so that means that you, um, instead of changing out, like I said, that one you just change the bobbins, this is, the modular wheels are the ones where you would unbolt it here, and you would change out the whole top half, so you could then have an 8-ounce head, or a 4-ounce head, or a 32-ounce head, you know, so you would change the whole top half of the Echo, or if you had an echo base and a firefly base you could then switch your heads back and forth so that's the exciting part about having a modular wheel whereas the rest of these the heads that are on there are the heads that are on there uh with an exception of the polywog it's kind of a freak you can um the polywog i guess is also sort of a modular wheel right now you see and it's all spinny <laughs> it's all crazy looking because my um seven-year-old has been trying to learn to spin on this so um but the four ounce this is the four ounce head you can unbolt this and put a 12 ounce head so i guess the polywog is technically a modular wheel so that is the biggest difference with that you can see and like i said i may this may end up just mainly being a bullfrog to echo comparison you can see their stance is pretty similar um the foot pedals this one folds up and down, which I think you just saw me do. Um, this one does not. The main difference in the stance is that the Bullfrog is definitely designed to be a more travel-friendly wheel than the Echo. The Echo and the Monarch are definitely advertised as studio wheels um, and production wheels, which I definitely say that they are. Um, I will have to look up the exact weights the Echo is definitely heavier than the Bullfrog. And I feel like if you look, and it may just be my imagination, I feel like the wheel part on the Echo, and I like I said, it may just be my imagination, I definitely feel like the wheel feels heavier than the Bullfrog when you're treadling it, but it also, now that I'm looking at them, it's the first time I've really looked at them side by side, it may not so much be the wheel weight as the treadle difference. Um, this one's more of a shallow side-to-side -side treadle, whereas this is more of the up-and-down treadle, like the polywog, so it might just be the leverage from one treadle style to the next. I definitely felt like the Echo wheel, I do feel like, is a bit heavier. It's definitely, 
a heavier wheel, just picking it up and moving it around in my living room. Which is good because, you know, the weight really helps to pull the yarn. You know, it, it's definitely a good studio production wheel. I don't have a Monarch, as you see. Um, I'll probably never get one and just, unless I just really want one to make videos with because the Echo does, you know, it's definitely a good studio wheel. I, you know, that, that would be as big as I would want. So the treadle difference, like I said, this one treadles by, it's much more of a one foot down, and here it might not be in gear. <laughs> I'm in the middle of two flying. But yeah, this one you just press the, you know, foot pedals here, whereas this one is the, uh, you know, definitely more like the polywog treadle, which I really like. I really like both, but that was one thing I was very excited, y'all know, about the bullfrog. I love the treadle action in that, but this one is definitely our most traditional, traditional, <laughs> up and down style treadle, so if you are coming from another wheel brand and you want more of an up and down, I would definitely go with the Bullfrog. People love the treadle on the Echo, and I have to say I do too. It's very smooth, but it's definitely, it's more of a traditional Spinolution treadle <laughs> um, versus other wheel brands. It's definitely a shallower, a shallower, but yet very easy treadle motion. So like I said, I just kind of wanted to show you the difference. Like I said, the Bullfrog being a travel wheel, this does flip up like in the B's. And this does hinge here. You can see in my other videos, there's a little button right on the back of here that you would press. And then the wheel goes that way. So then the handle would be on the top. And you could then carry it off. So it's not as portable as the bees, but definitely more, much more portable than the Echo or Monarch. So, um, and like so this one, you can see, has the new 3D printed polywinder on it. So that also is a standard but I wasn't going to remove it for the sake of this video. So that's the Polywinder on the 16-ounce um, Bullfrog. And this is the regular peg, uh, you know, flyer head that does come on all of our wheels, which I don't mind at all. Apparently changing pegs doesn't uh, disrupt my life that greatly. Um, as far as the Lazy Kates go, this one, you can see on the Bullfrog, it comes up, and it is a built-in Lazy Kate, so you don't have to buy it separately. comes up and goes to the right, and you've got your removable pegs. And the removable pegs can go, there's a little slot right there on the neck. So that's where you would store the pegs when they're not in use. And so it goes, like I said, the stance is off to the right. And that's like how our polywog one is too. So you can see it literally is just like the big brother of the Polywog. On the Echo or the Monarch or the Firefly, the uh, Lazy Kate is something you buy separately. So it does not come with the Lazy Kate. But the Lazy Kate is much more of a thing <laughs> on this one. It's got, and like you can see in my other videos, where it, it's detachable. And then these feet can you know, make like little feet, so you can use the Lazy Kate on the floor, or you can use it attached on the back, like you can see that mine is. If you have it attached on the back, it goes all the way across like a T, versus just off to the right, which I really like. So if you're somebody who really likes things to be symmetrical, <clears throat> excuse me, the Echo is definitely more symmetrical looking, and I would say perhaps prettier. No offense to the bullfrog, <laughs> but um, definitely more symmetrical, whereas that's a T. Um, it, I feel that they both ply equally easily. Like I said, the benefit of this one being uh, you do have, it can come off and you could put it on the floor if you are doing fancy ply stuff and you wanted it to do that, whereas this one is just, it is where it is. The benefit of this one is you don't have to pay for it, so it comes right there attached to your wheel, so you don't have to spend any extra money on it, and I really like that. And like I said, so the bullfrog also hinges, so then the Lazy Kate just goes down. So that is um, that is the comparison on that. So I guess while I'm making this a bullfrog echo love video, I will... Um, Let's see, as far as any pros or cons, I would say the major pro of the Bullfrog is it's portable, it's lighter, it, um, 
It's portable while still being a much more traditional wheel. Clearly, the King Bee is more portable because it folds into a box. <laughs> so, and I love my bee. Y'all know I love my bees. But it's definitely not a traditional wheel. But the bee wins for portability. Polywog, also super portable because it's like the size of a house cat. So you can like chunk it in a bag and tote it off with you. So these two, definitely more portable. Um, this one is awesome. But the Bullfrog's great because it is portable while still also being a full-size you know, traditional looking spinning wheel. So I definitely, the bullfrog gets all the points for that. Echo, you could technically place, take it places, but it's not nearly as easy. Um, if you take off the lazy Kate, there is a little handle on the back, which I showed in another video. Sorry, my house is in the way. If you take off the lazy Kate here, then there is technically a little like place you could put your hand to carry it around, but you would have to take off the lazy cape. And it does definitely weigh more. So, um, definitely weighs more. You can see the difference in the back. And like I said, the Echo, I did get fully engraved, um, which is an option. It is not standard, but it is an option with the Echo. Whereas the Bullfrog, at the time of this video, it is not an option. But that's how they look from the back. They honestly look very similar from the back. Um, main difference being Lazy Kate on versus off and then just going off to the side. But they do look very similar from the back. Echo is definitely, like I said, it's heavier. It's um, not, it's something you kind of want to put where you want it to be and then leave it there. Mine, just for the sake of I have small children and stuff, gets moved around my living room a lot. But I really have to take, like, two hands and, like, grab the neck <laughs> and pick it up and, like, gently move it over and put it down. Whereas the bullfrog, I must admit, I am, it, it is lighter, and I usually just kind of grab it here and tote it around. So the bullfrog definitely is easier to move around. Benefits of the Echo, it is a shallower treadle. I don't know if that's necessarily a benefit, but people really like it. Benefit, you can get it engraved which I really agonized, even as a dealer, on spending the extra money on the engraving, and I'm super glad I did. I absolutely love it, so um, I'm glad I did that. So that's a benefit, is you can get it engraved. If you want to, it has the, I guess you could call it, better Lazy Kate option, even though it's not free. Whereas benefit over here, that one's free, and it's still fully functional and very awesome in my opinion. So, um... <clears throat> You can put that on the positive pile for whichever one <laughs> matters to you more. They're both 16 ounce heads. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a uh, need to drink some water apparently. Um, like I said, the they both this one comes standard with a 16 ounce head, which is our most popular size. Can be interchanged with an eight. This one is shown with 16 ounce head, but you can get in different sizes. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, I apparently have something in my throat. But, uh, benefit of the Echo is it's one of our modular wheels. So, if you're into having a package, <coughs> good grief, where you can really switch out the heads, I would say the Echo, you know, is definitely going to fulfill that where the Bullfrog can't. <clears throat> so I think that's all the time I have for today. I will definitely do a uh, more in-depth comparison. I guess we'll compare that to um, the King Bee next. I'll just make these separate videos. So I hope uh, you didn't mind that this was live, and I'm sorry I coughed a whole bunch at the end. But, you know, it is what it is. It's allergy season. So anyhow, please, if you have any particular questions uh, or something I didn't cover because I forgot, <laughs> let me know. But I think we it's about time for us to get back to the wonders of virtual school. So y'all all think good thoughts about me. Have a good one.